this is the part two of the micro creator series so um in the part one you would have uh, set up all the stuff already um i think it's important um you have uh the um, micro creators running with all the add-ons enabled um because uh we are going to use cert manager and cert manager is an add-on and if you want to know whether it's enabled or not uh, just check the micro creator status and if it's not enabled make sure you enable the cert manager so the first thing um is uh to create a cluster issuer so if you don't know what the assert manager is uh it is uh, the um, kubernetes certificate manager so it you can um issue certificates from variety of resources uh it supports um hashicorp vault let's encrypt and few other uh, sources we are going to use let's encrypt because it's free and um but the ssl certificates is only for three months but the cert manager takes care of uh checking that and renewing the certificates for us so you basically just uh, make sure you configure the cert manager properly and then forget about um securing your uh urls because it will automatically be secure so the first thing is uh, to create a production issuer the production issuer will have a um, kind of cluster issuer and then the, make sure you change the email here and um, and the let's encrypt um, informations are available so of all these uh, files are available in the github repo so if you come here and um, check the repository here i have uh, provided all the files um, as a github repo so you can what you can do is just um copy the url put it in the server boom uh, um yes our can see there is a cert manager folder uh, yeah so this is what um i have uh for the prod.yaml um you can you can see the cert manager has uh the version one the prod the kind of cert issuer i changed the email to my email address and everything else is the same so what we are going to do is uh we are going to uh, apply prod so this uh, will create the um cluster issuer and uh, and then this will create the staging issuer that's it that's basically it uh we just created a cluster issuer the next is um setting up the nginx uh we are going to use the nginx um, ingress controller uh, again make sure you check the the add-on is enabled if it is enabled uh we can test a uh, whole my application which i have created and then uh see if the who my who are my application actually works um the who are my application doesn't have anything else except um uh, the cert manager which is uh, using the let's encrypt which we created and the uh, ingress class i would recommend go back and then you would see the who are my folder uh, and then you can see the um can see the file here the who am i um the um, who am i uh, deployment file and you can apply it and then you would be able to visit this url because that is the url we mentioned and it has a fake kubernetes certificate and if we go in yes now the certificate is issued you're basically seeing the whole is uh huamai.kdev uh dot uh, .com, and these are coming from the uh kubernetes uh deployment yeah so that means two things our um our nginx um ingress controller is working and our cert manager is working this is a very simple uh deployment um we didn't have any um storage usage if you have just a container and it just has to run this is uh pretty much it you just uh, create a deployment and then uh, this is where you specify the container information and then create a service for that um container and um in kubernetes that's how you expose the container uh, you mentioned the port as 80 and then this is the ingress route ingress 
is what exposes the uh, service to the outside world. So in the ingress route, we are mentioning the host as uh, whoami.dev.antisubart.com. And uh, in the TLS section, we are mentioning the TLS name and also a host. And in the annotations, we are mentioning the cert manager cluster usual, which is let's encrypt, which we created here. This is the name uh, which we created. So it will look for this uh, cluster issuer and then issue a SSL certificate. And then you can come and then um, you deploy the ingress. It will be automatically exposed. So so this service connects to this service and this port connect to this port. Yeah, I know we are actually using three services to expose a container, but that's how Kubernetes works. Um, if you're coming from the Docker Compose file where you just uh, define your uh, service and then it just works it's a little bit more work uh, if you don't know what this file is uh, or how these things work i i, I would recommend uh, you uh, go and visit the getting started um, section of the kubernetes and then in the concept section they just um explain things in a very simple way where they explain like okay what is the traditional approach what is the containerized approach and the uh, cluster architecture how does it work and then what does uh, service mean what does uh, ingress mean what does pod mean um yeah so you, you can get an idea uh, the documentation kind of looks weird but uh it, it is useful uh, you, you can understand most of the thing yeah so we are done with the part two uh in the part three um we are going to deploy a registry because i don't like using a private registry or, or, or paid registry. I always host my uh, Docker containers in a, in my own registry. And I like that registry be, be protected. I don't want to expose my private containers as well. So let's see how to do that in the next video. And uh, I want to use a Postgres database uh, because I want to deploy a .NET application which contains, which connects to a database and my favorite database is Postgres. So, and, and also both of these need uh, a disk space so for storing a registry you need to store the files somewhere and also for the database you need to store the file somewhere so you will also see like how we can request a storage or you can use the host storage um yeah so let's um that's coming on the next video um until then see you then